It's time to put away your phone, sit back, and enjoy the unmissable show. Deep learning, once a futuristic pipe dream, now a reality that is shaping the decisions we make and the way we live. Deep learning is already transforming our daily lives. It's behind Face ID on our phones, smart speakers in our homes, and even movie recommendations on our TVs. But it's also having a transformative effect on healthcare, helping everything from disease detection to drug discovery. And now a remarkable new technology from GE Healthcare is bringing the benefits of deep learning to MRI, one of the most vital imaging tools in modern medicine. This new technology challenges everything we thought was possible in medical imaging. It fundamentally shifts the balance between image quality and scan time. This has the potential to completely change the way we think about MRI. This is unmissable. It is really remarkable what Air Recon and the deep learning algorithm can do. It's a no-brainer. It's like going from black and white TV to high definition color TV. This is revolutionary. Imagine imaging with no noise. Those images are absolutely beautiful. It now takes me longer to do my paperwork than actually do the scan. It's a whole new book, not even a new chapter that we've opened. Wow, just simply wow. MRI is powerful, it's sophisticated, and it helps over 200 million patients around the world every year. Demand for MRI is exploding and it's increasingly relied on to help diagnose and monitor patients accurately and efficiently. That means there's never been a more urgent need to obtain exceptionally clear images. So doctors can see a true picture of what's going on inside the body and make confident decisions quickly. But radiologists have to perform a delicate balancing act between image quality and scan time. Every imaging center deals with the balance differently, but until now, no one has been able to have it all at once. Certainly, traditionally with MRI, you have to choose between image quality, scan time, and obviously considering SNR, and that's changed completely. We know that MR images are always challenged in terms of their noise levels, as well as the resolution. And so what really inspired us was knowing that we can do better than what we're currently doing. Noise has always been a battle we've had in MR. If we can mitigate noise, it's a total game changer. Having noise and limited resolution in images, what it really means is there's more decision making for the reviewer, for the radiologist. They have to decide if what they see is real or if it's not. They have to read through this noise. Exams take an hour, an hour and a half. And many exams had a lot of artifact, and many patients were very uncomfortable because of the amount of time spent in the machine. Pioneering technology from GE Healthcare is challenging what's possible in MRI. It's called Air Recon DL and it uses deep learning to give radiologists the best of both worlds, exceptional image quality and faster scan times. It's not a post-processing technique or a filter that can blur detail. Instead, it uses the raw MR data to remove noise and ringing, deliver clearer, sharper, beautiful images and enable shorter scan times, all at once. Our first impression was actually, wow, these images are beautiful, and uh, a lot of excitement, a lot of smiles. Across the board, everyone has been pretty much blown away by what they see. I've stood there and seen radiographers use it for the first time, and behind the mask, you can see that their eyes are open. It's really, we've never seen that before. They're just stunning, and you can see that on the scanner at the time of the imaging. 
You should have seen me that morning when we rolled out the acquisition and we're going study by study, image by image, and I saw that first pituitary adenoma, which just leapt out. I mean, you just couldn't miss it. And you should have seen me smile, because it was fun. We would have thought these images were impossible in any kind of standard scan time. As it turns out, they were not only better images, they were also much faster. Thanks to the Eric and DL, uh, we can have very thin acquisition um, in the same time of very subtle structures in the brain. It basically gave us the, the amount, the increase in image quality and resolution, increased signal to noise ratio in almost every single exam. And at the same time, most exams were done in 25 to 30% less time. Some patients literally, you know, are not very tolerant of the whole MR examination. We can sit there and scan them with prior imaging techniques and we just end up with a useless study. But with the use of the Air Recon DL technology, then we can reduce those scan times. This is allowing us to scan patients who we previously just wouldn't be able to get any really useful data. Air Recon DL is already installed in several hundred hospitals and imaging centers all over the world. And radiologists are using it to meet specific requirements, including the need for speed. As demand for MRI is booming and radiology resources are limited, it's not surprising that shorter scan time is one of the benefits Air Recon DL users are most excited about. But what do faster scans mean for radiologists and their patients? So the biggest thing we notice is that with Air Recon DL, the patient experience is improved and the satisfaction is improved. Patients are going to uh, experience MR in a much more friendly way. We've shortened our time slots considerably, in some cases, a half to a third of what those time slots used to be. And the, the really nice thing about this is we haven't had to compromise on our image quality to do this. We're able to scan those patients in two thirds of the time without an artifact and with a very high image quality. If you can go to the go-to sequences, which are much less noisy, much prettier. They're just easier to look at. At the end of the day, you're less stressed. Our benefit to the DL Recon is not only faster imaging, but better imaging. We can reduce the uh, number of excitations by nearly half. So instantly, that's saving three or four minutes. And not just without losing image quality, arguably in many cases, it's actually improving quality as well which is the really amazing thing, is that you can not only save time, but you can actually improve on what you had before. Without a doubt, we've already seen an impact on our number of patients we can squeeze in during the day. I can do a 10-minute knee and be very proud of the image quality that I can squeeze in between two of our patients. We were able to obtain better images in a shorter time. And there are lots of technical reasons, but a pretty big reason is that the patients are more comfortable and they move less. We work with children a lot, and uh, they have a limited ability to cooperate with us. So any amount of scan time that we can save increases the chances that we're going to get a diagnostic exam. With these new techniques, we now skip the use of antispasmodic agent for T2 weighted images because the movement of bowel is minimizing during the single breath hold time. Furthermore, the overall number of breath hold during the session is decreased we need to improve the patient satisfaction. Grumpy old men come in. I mean, these guys that come in for their prostates, they are not happy about it. They're there because their wife made them, their doctor made them. It wasn't because they wanted to be there. And if I can get a grumpy old man in and out in 15 minutes, they are not grumpy, which is a miracle. It really allows us to do exams that we probably wouldn't have done without this because we can scan so quickly with high image quality. I was asked by a pediatric orthopedic surgeon to scan an eight-month-old baby with a congenital foot deformity. He ended up swaddling the baby, full belly, mom in the room, got the whole scan done in less than 15 minutes with really high image quality. So everyone was really happy. I never would have done that without DL Recon.
The shorter the scan, the happier the patient, the more compliance you get, the less motion, the better the scan quality. The faster we can do it, the better. We want to stay in business. Uh, we want to be able to be economically viable. And this is a great tool that keeps our facilities sound, keeps our patients happy, and really does increase the pride that our technologists have in the work that they create. Air Recon DL's results are impressive, but what's its secret? How does the deep learning technology actually work? Before we look at Air Recon DL specifically, let's think about how MRI images are made in very simple terms. The body is mostly made of water. During a scan, water protons act like little bar magnets and attempt to align with the magnetic field of the MR scanner. The scanner uses radio waves to stimulate these mini-magnets and receive a signal from the water protons. These signals are stored as numbers called raw data, and the data is transformed into the final MR image. Making a high-quality image requires collecting a lot of high-quality raw data. This can take a long time, but the more complete the raw data, the better the final image. We can imagine the collection of accurate raw data like completing a giant Sudoku grid. There are lots of unfilled entries, and some entries may have errors or noise. In this analogy, Air Recon DL would use its vastly trained neural network to fill in and correct the Sudoku entries, based on detecting patterns that it has learned. And it would complete the Sudoku puzzle quickly and accurately. When used for MR imaging, Air Recon DL can take noisy and incomplete raw data and create sharp and effectively noise-free images like never seen before. And images can be acquired much faster because less raw data is needed. The challenges specifically with Air Recon DL we're trying to overcome are noisy and low resolution images. And we want to make these images as easy to read for a radiologist as possible. There's a huge turning point as soon as we use machine learning and specifically deep learning. It's an artificial intelligence embedded image reconstruction. What we're doing is we're taking the raw data from the scanner and we're, we're integrating artificial intelligence into our reconstruction pipeline. We are helping the machine perceive this like a person would perceive it, make decisions as to what should be in the image and what shouldn't. So we're really keeping the parts of our reconstruction that are really effective and replacing the ones that were limiting the image quality with something that actually goes and improves it substantially. We have trained it in a way that allows a, an AI algorithm, like a deep learning algorithm, to learn how to go from a typical, corrupt, noisy MR image into something that is essentially perfect. Our solution is embedded right on the device, so it takes the, the raw data as it comes off the scanner, goes through the reconstruction pipeline that is augmented with, with the deep learning, and images pop up for the user to see immediately while the patient is on the table and still in the scanner. We're not simply doing a filter to clean up the image. We are providing as much consistency with the data as possible while providing the best possible output image. What really made the difference for us, and in the case of Eric Kandia, was we took the time and worked with our clinical partners, more than a dozen um, uh, top academic sites globally, and got their feedback. And we went through multiple cycles of that to improve and generalize our, our algorithm. So it works for everyone, uh, patients of different size, uh, works on all different parts of the body. More than 30 scientific papers, abstracts were published as a result of all these work. And uh, we saw just the, the, the benefit to our customers, clinicians, and to the patients. The technology behind Air Recon DL is sophisticated, but it's simple to install and easy to use. Before I actually used Air Recon DL, I didn't have you know, very good you know, understanding about AI. So I thought it should be a little bit more complicated or something difficult, but actually Air Recon DL was so easy to use. The healthcare professionals with AI, their roles will become much more simplified and automated, giving them time to focus on spending time with you as the patient and doing what they do best, which is the clinical insight. My confidence in diagnosis is much better because as the quality of the image is always better, it's easier to say, 
yes, I'm sure there is a meniscal tone here. I'm sure there is a cartilage breakdown there. Looking at beautiful images, it makes your eyes less tired. It's easier. You don't have to strain um, as, as much. And you're not worried about missing important pathology that's obscured in some artifact. It's also important to note that they have less of certain types of artifact, which is ringing artifact. Essentially, it's easier for us to go right to the pathology, figure out what's wrong, help the patient, and move on to the next, the next set of images or the next patient. There were many times where in the evening, on the weekends, when you know our app specialist wasn't there or I'm not there, where a technologist would contact me and said, hey, this protocol doesn't have DL on it. Can I use it? And then how do I use it? And my answer was very simply this, turn it on. And they said, what? And I said, you see the button that says DL? Yeah, turn it on, put it on high. Is there anything else I need to do? No. Just enjoy the SNR. You might think that technology as advanced as Air Recon DL is only available for certain customers or systems, but GE Healthcare doesn't want anyone to miss out. We deliberately decided to launch Air Recon DL across the range. Everyone has a GMR scanner can get Air Recon DL. That's really the beauty of this upgrade, is that it can, can be on a number of older systems as well. We took uh, one of our older machines and we did the hardware and the software upgrades that included Receive Chain and Air Recon Deep Learning. And that went from a tired machine to sort of the, the queen of the fleet. And that's now the go-to magnet for our Brockton Center. All these um, healthcare providers with a simple upgrade, very cost-efficient upgrade, can get access to the latest technology to help them take care of the patients. In a rapidly changing world that's placing ever-increasing demands on radiologists, Air Recon DL is here to help. This groundbreaking technology fundamentally improves image quality and enables shorter scan times. And, as you've seen, it's already helping clinicians around the world improve their productivity and patient care. Air Recon DL is pushing the boundaries of MRI, and the difference it makes is unmissable. But this is just the beginning. Our first results from this first release of Air Recon DL have really exceeded our expectations. The feedback has been fantastic. I'm very enthusiastic about how AI will keep driving healthcare forward. This is just the beginning and we are not done. I'm very satisfied with Air Recon DL, so I don't want to go back. Directions, I think, going forward are uh, really pushing it into a multi-dimensional realm. I think uh, these techniques will start to open new avenues. We're going to be seeing a lot more AI in both improving image quality but making lives faster and easier. I think Air Recon DL represents one of the best upgrade opportunities in my 35 years in MRI. Yes, definitely I would recommend other doctors to use Air Recon DL. We have so much potential to explore and that benefits so many people. There's no doubt this is the way of the future. There's no turning back to the way things were before. Many, many innovations coming in the near future.